by admitting in his book the keys of this blood that it's well known that Cardinal Siri received the required number of votes to make him Pope in 1963, but that Siri was influenced by what Martin calls, quote, a little brutality, end quote. Martin explicitly mentions that communication occurred between a member of the conclave and an internationally based organization concerning the Siri candidacy. So even Malachi Martin, a defender of anti-popes John XXIII and Paul VI, admitted that Cardinal Siri received pressure not to accept the office to which Martin admits he was elected. This confirms what Scortesco revealed and demonstrates again that the election of anti-pope Paul VI was fraudulent. But besides the testimony of Martin and Scortesco, an interview that Cardinal Siri gave before his death is worthy of note. In a published interview with the Marquis de Francorie, Louis Remy and Francis Delay, Siri was asked questions on various topics including what Scortesco revealed about his election. While denying various other things in the interview, Siri would not deny that he was elected Pope. All he would say was that, quote, I am bound by the secret. This secret is horrible. I would have books to write about the different conclaves. Very serious things have taken place, but I can say nothing. The interviewers concluded that since Siri denied other things they asked him, but would not deny that he had been elected, that what Scortesco said was true. One should note that Siri was mistaken about being bound by the secret of the conclave, for the secret of the conclave would not bind when the salvation of millions of souls are at stake. And the horrible secrets of the conclave which Siri alluded to without a doubt referred to the unlawful intervention of outside forces which blocked his ability